So uh, let's hear from you now. Well, as I mentioned, my name is Tony Scott, and I am now running for the Fifth District County Commission. Heard of my petition yesterday. I took action my little sidekick. Our daughter uh, was with me when I turned in, so that was kind of neat. Um, my husband, Benson, and I, we are from Farragut. We are products of this community. We love this community. We've been here for that over 40 years. Our family's here. In fact, meet my father-in-law who came with me, my moral support. Um, so this is Bobby. Um, so we, we love this community. We are invested in this community and we want nothing more than to continue to see it thrive, continue to see conservative values that we were raised with, that our grandparents were raised with. Um, and we all know in this room that that means some of us that never expected to run for an office, me, <laughs> are going to have to step in and step up and, and get involved. And so that's actually why I'm here. And um, it's been very eventful and interesting and kind of really wasn't on my radar for me personally, even though we've always been invested and involved and, you know, door knocks for Haslam and all the different things back in the days. But, um, being in this role and having a name on the ballot was, it's a very new adventure for our family, but we're excited. Um, we have three kids. Sorry, I'm your, I'm your unprepared speaker for the evening, so bear with me. But we do, we have three kids. Our oldest is the senior, Stratton, at Farragut. He what? plays baseball and actually just um, signed to go play at UT, so <coughs> that will be our little third generation ball. Um, so that's exciting. He's thrilled, it's his lifelong dream and goal. So. Now we can watch him see what kind of work entails with that. Um, our second, our daughter, Mary Aspen, is a sophomore, and she's on the dance team, and so they work hard doing that. And then our sweet little William is in seventh grade. He's the baby and will forever get to be the baby. And any of y'all who are in that role know that it is highly coveted. So um, that's our family in a nutshell. So we, we are involved in the community, at the school, in the the community at our church at Cedar Springs, and we are just feeling called to give back and called to keep Farragut Farragut. So I think that everybody who's been here appreciates it for what it is, and everybody who's new here comes because it's that wonderful. So um, I will look forward to over the next coming weeks getting to hear kind of y'all's concerns and what your desires are for the district, because as I said, Yesterday was my first day turning in my petition. <laughs> so um, I guess that's kind of me in a nutshell and why I'm here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I was trying to shield him, but apparently I'm not doing it. Now he can tell me, he'll be like, I, he said you weren't talking. I'm like, I don't know. Well, I told her she could. Exactly. <laughs> so, well, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. Um, and I just want to say thank you for being here and being involved in this community. Thank you for being here and being involved in this community. Thank you for being here and being involved in this community. Thank you for being here and being involved in this community. Thank you for being here and being involved in this community. Thank you for being here and being involved in this community. Thank you for being here and being involved in this West Knox Farragut person. Mm -hmm. What do you feel about, uh, what's your feelings about the growth around here? <laughs> and uh, your opinion on uh, traffic? Obviously we've had um, a substantial increase in growth and a substantial increase in traffic. Um, I support financial growth. I do think that Farragut's full. And I think there are a lot of places in the county and in the community that there's a lot of room for growth and expansion and financial, um, well, I want financial just here. So, anywho, um, I think that we have to be really wise about it. And I think that we need to figure out how to handle what we've got going on right now. I think it's expanded fairly rapidly. And um, so I think we need to consider very seriously the parameters with that and how to address what we have going on. And like I said, keep Farragut Farragut. I think that that's why we all enjoy living here. 
So I, I think that we enjoy other parts of town that we go visit, and then we drive home to our smaller community for our, for you know, where we choose to live. So. Well, I, 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 I asked that question because you're uh, going right for commission rather than going through all the men that were the mayor here in Ferry. <laughs> making a, the big jump up to the co commissioner. And they have the advanced Knox program going on right now. Uh, did you have any input in that? Did you personally get involved in any of that? I personally did not get involved in the advanced Knox um, that is going on right now. And a lot of that is things that I have, I do have some knowledge on and also need to dive in deeper before I would feel comfortable to give you my official, well-researched, documented answer. That makes sense. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. So. Oh, you uh, You just jumped in or had time to study yet. Should we be uh, going into a billion dollar budget. What type of budget experience do you have that does get any on any budget? Um, on the budget experience, there are lots of different community um, organizations and things I've been involved with over the years and putting different. Um, big events on, but no, I have not worked with something with a million dollar budget. You'll run real quick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just add zeros. Yeah. 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 Cool.